Hi, and welcome to My Leader Source. My name is Jason, and today we're going to be going over the family of presses. We're going to start off with the shoulder press, the push press, the push jerk, and the split jerk. All these exercises are used to promote strength in the upper body, mainly the shoulders and arms. Welcome to the shoulder press. We remove the rack so that you can see some of the better visual points as we move along through these key points. Carlos is going to go ahead and pick up the bar for me. He's going to bring the bar up to the shoulders. We're going to start off with the feet. Generally when we start the press, the feet are going to remain under the hips. The legs should be tight, the glutes are tight, the abs are tight. And he's looking to find this good rack position. As you can see his hands are shoulder width apart. The elbows will sit directly underneath the bar, maybe a touch in front. He's going to press this bar straight overhead, making sure that he keeps it in a nice straight line, locking those elbows out at the top position, driving those shoulders toward the ears. As he comes down, he's looking to maintain that nice bar path, falling straight back down the position as he sets up for his next press. Again, always trying to make sure that he keeps his legs tight, his glutes tight, and his core rigid. Go ahead and turn sideways for me, Carlos. As you can see, he's nice and upright, legs are fully extended, weight should be in the heels as you press. He's going to drive the bar up, make sure he gets full extension at the elbow, and driving those shoulders toward the ceiling. That bar should come straight down again as you can see from the side view, you get a nice shot of that nice path. It's going to go straight overhead, extend, and then fall right back into position. Thank you, Carlos. Some of the common faults associated in the press. As he gets the bar up, you're going to start to find sometimes you're going to want to step out wide. Remember, we want those feet under the hips. We don't want this wide stance. We want to make sure that we're nice and narrow so that bar has a nice straight path to follow. So he's going to bring his feet under hips. Let's give you a nice streamlined effect so that bar, when he presses overhead, is in full extension. Now, as he comes down, what you also notice is we don't want bending of the knee here. So we want to stay rigid in those legs to make sure that our base is nice and solid. This will help protect our spine as well in the overall scheme of things. So he's going to extend his leg, make sure he's nice and tight in the quad. Glutes should be tight. As you notice, those elbows are in front. He doesn't want to drop those bars, excuse me, he doesn't want to drop those elbows behind the bar. So if he brings those elbows back, there's a possibility that this weight could actually dump forward. Okay, and this again will cause the bar path to point out in front rather than in that nice straight line. As he turns to the side, we'll go over <clears throat> that bar path again. One, the elbows, again, if they're behind the bars, you can see from the side view with a little better angle. That elbow is behind the bar, creating an outward path of the bar. So if he presses the bar with that elbow behind it, it's going to end up going out in front. So we want to make sure we get the elbows lined up underneath it, pressing straight up toward the ceiling, and bringing that weight down nice and easy. And back up. Good. So again, common faults associated with the press, wide stance, soft knees, glutes not engaged, right? Elbows behind the bar. And Carlos is just all sorts of a mess right now. All right, let's find good position, Carlos. We're going to stand up, get the feet under the hips, elbows under the bar, legs tight, glutes tight, and then he'll begin his press. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos. So we just finished the press, the family of presses. We had the press, the push press, the push jerk, the split jerk, and all the variations behind the head. Where you should feel this, shoulders, triceps, maybe a little bit of that back and traps, depending on what exercise you're doing. Remember, these exercises are generally used to help promote strength and power of the upper body. My name is Jason, this is Carlos, and thank you for joining us at My Leader Source.